and welcome back to ETCS Bites Back. Let's have a look at full supervision today. So, full supervision is often regarded as the holy grail, the mode that we want trains to be in. And that's because when the ETCS has all the information about the track, the grade and the speed the train can go at, then the driver has almost no responsibility for that movement. Full supervision is selected by the onboard. And it does that based on the information it receives from the track side. It's the track side that authorizes full supervision and it's available in levels one, two and three. The driver is still expected to observe the line ahead to give warning to track workers, but they have no responsibility for checking the line is clear. Whilst it may be reasonable for them to keep a lookout and identify hazards when the train is say going at 100 to 150 kilometers per hour, when the train is travelling at 300 kilometres per hour, there is no time to even observe or respond to a hazard. So what does the system do when it's in full supervision? Well, if we look at the definitions in subset 26, chapter 4, it says that the ETCS on board shall supervise train movements against a dynamic speed profile. And it shall display to the driver the train speed, the permitted speed, the distance to the target where the train needs to stop or reduce speed and the target speed at either at a stopping location or reduction speed to the driver. So what's the driver responsible for if the system's doing everything? Well, sometimes we need to have a release speed and it is the driver's responsibility to take to drive in accordance with the release speed. On approach to a, a location where the train needs to stop very close to the designed location in the ETCS, a release speed is provided. <clears throat> and that's because the DMI may be inadequate or inaccurate, not allowing the train to get to the right stopping location. The location is marked at the track side and the driver takes responsibility for driving within the release speed and stopping at the required location. So what does the driver get? Well, the DMI shows the driver key information. And we can see from the icon that the train is in full supervision. And the permitted speed is displayed around the circular speed gauge as a gray band with a little tick at the top called the hook. And the other key piece of information for the driver over on the right is the planning area. The planning area provides information looking ahead of, uh, on the journey, indicating how far the movement may exist and any speed changes. So what does it look like in real life? As you can see, we have a view of the from the front of the cab, we have a view showing the driver's actions, and we also have a copy of the DMI on the right hand side. So that was full supervision.